In this morning's New Zealand Herald headlines, why some experts believe new gang laws could backfire, Wellington tackles a railway renewals backlog, and Paula Bennett eyes up Auckland mayoralty. Atamaria, I'm Sherry Kinnear. It's Monday, the 26th of February. Concerns the crackdown on gangs is more of a political gimmick than an evidence based policy choice. The government's released more detail on the proposed legislation around banning gang insignia from public spaces, including dispersal notices, fines, and potentially harsher sentences. Auckland University Associate Law Professor Carrie Leonetti says it appears to be based on a similar law passed in Western Australia. She says that triggered a lot of controversy and public spectacle. Leonetti says it doesn't appear to have affected gang membership or the rates of gang-related crime in Australia. Jenny Anderson says she'll apologise to Mark Mitchell over comments she made on last week's Mike Hosking breakfast. On last Wednesday's show, the Labour police spokesperson accused the police minister of being paid to kill people when he was a defence contractor in East Africa and the Middle East. Mitchell has denied he knowingly killed anyone. Anderson told Mike Hosking she shouldn't have made the comments. It was absolutely unacceptable to, to personally attack Mark and um, I intend to apologise to him when we're back together this Wednesday on your show. Costs are piling up as works needed for upkeep and upgrades in Wellington's railway service. It's estimated $5 to $7.8 billion is needed in the next 30 years to tackle a renewals backlog. Buses replacing trains is set to be a common practice on weekends and public holidays for at least 10 years while maintenance takes place. A major road between Auckland and Northland closes today for more than two months. The Transport Agency is closing State Highway 1 over the Brindirwin Hills until May 12 to undertake critical restoration work following storm damage. The vital link will be open for six days over the Easter period. NZTA spokesperson Steve Mutton says the work they're doing will move traffic away from the more vulnerable side of the hill. We're heading into the winter much, so it's likely we'll get more storms and more rain. We'll have more room to clear things like slips and debris and avoid the need for any future lengthy major closure. And former Deputy Prime Minister Paula Bennett has confirmed she's considering a tilt at the Auckland mayoralty next year. She was approached to stand in 2022, but backed off to have a break from public life. Bennett says it's anyone's guess what will happen in 12 months, saying she'll enjoy the summer and then have to think about it. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more news worth knowing, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai te ra. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.